Hi guys, welcome to Turtle Tuesday. All right, so we have a lot to do today. I didn't realize for Baba Black Sheep, I put a lot of things, but they're all fun. So let me go through them and you just do what you can at home. All right, so let's take a look. I have, today is our 23rd day, a two and a three. I'm just gonna put up our purple. Let's listen to that sentence. Today is Tuesday, February 23rd. 2021. Oh boy, and we're getting through that week. All right, I'm gonna get started right away now for these slides because I didn't realize how much I put up there. <laughs> At least it's all fun stuff. And I love Baba Black Sheep. That's one of my favorite nursery rhymes. So this here is Baba, this, this is a Baba Black Sheep book. Okay, so you can read that book at home. It's a really fun one. And then at home you have a piece of paper and you can go through our, our Baba Black Sheep rhyme. Okay, and you can talk about it. And actually, this one actually has the blank spaces for the colors. All right, so our song goes like this. Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for the master, one for the dame. One for the little boy who lives down the lane. All right, so that's how our song goes. And it's a black sheep that's in our song. But we're going to be silly and we're going to change the song. So we're gonna make different colors. Let me bring you down here so you can see. All right, so I'm gonna open up my little packet here. I've got some color words inside and I also have some different colored sheep. In fact, let me turn on the light because it's kind of hard to see it without that light on. Right. How's that? Is that a little bit better? I'm sure you can see the colors a little bit clearer. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're on the table, you're gonna lay down your colors, your color words, okay? And actually, let's match them up. So I have my green and my green, my orange and my orange, my blue is here, black is here. Oh, here's another black, so I'll put black next to black. And then I have purple and white, lots of colors, and yellow and brown. Okay, and I'm now going to find the matches to these here. We've got another purple, so I'll put purple next to purple, white next to white, yellow next to yellow. We're just matching all the words. Brown next to brown, and the blue next to the blue. And if you look at the first letter in each of those words, you'll be able to know what it says. So, y, y, that's yellow because it sounds like y, like a letter Y. And p, p, purple, it has a P. All right, so you might have to have some support from your family to help you with this, but I'm sure you can at least match the words that go together, right? So we're gonna sing it like this using our paper in front of us as well. All right, here we go. Ba, ba, let's start with the first one. Black sheep, all right, so I have to get the black word black and put it in that space here. Ba, ba, black sheep. And it's gonna be saying it again down here. So where that blank is, you're gonna put the word black. All right, so it goes like this. Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for the master, one for the dame, one for the little boy who lives down the lane. Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. All right, so we actually don't really even need to say that second part. You can actually put the word black onto the black sheep if you want, okay? All right, so then, then we're gonna change it and we're gonna get a different word to go with the next color. I put the blacks on that one there. Let's look at this color. What color is that sheep? Yes, purple. So let's find the color word p -p purple. And we know that begins with the letter P, P for purple purple you can hear it there's the word purple so I'm going to put it in the word in this in the uh, poem here and then put the purple onto the purple sheep and then again we do it again ready ba ba purple sheep have you any wool yes sir yes sir three bags full all right same thing what color is this sheep yellow all right so we're going to find that y y there's the word y y yellow because it makes the y sound. That's the letter Y, the first letter in the word yellow. So if you look at the word, there's lots of letters, one, two, three, four, five, six letters, but this is the first letter, y, yellow. All right, so let's try one more and then we'll let you do the rest at home. 
Baba yellow sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. All right, and then you'll go through each of the different colored sheep and have fun playing along with the color words and singing about that nursery rhyme, but using different colors. All right, that's fun. That's one of my favorite activities. All right, let's take a look. What else do we have here? Um, for my AM class, we have an activity here that you are going to use your clip and a little ball, and you're going to dip the little ball into black paint, okay? And you're just gonna kind of make some black marks along the letter B, or whatever word you have at home. Mine says beach, yours is gonna say your name. And you're gonna basically use the ball as a paintbrush, okay? But that's my morning class. So I'll let my morning friends do that in, in school. And I'm gonna show you in a little more detail my afternoon class craft. All right, so my afternoon class craft is going to be a sheep, and it's gonna be in a bag that looks like this. All right, and so what you're gonna do is you're going to use these little toothpicks as the sheep's feet. And the black part of the toothpick is gonna to be the bottom of his feet. Okay, and you're gonna be very careful because it's very pointy. All right, and you're going to push it in to the sheep, so that way, into the ball, so it turns it into a sheep and make it so that way that he doesn't fall, okay? You wanna make it so all four legs are gonna be down on the ground and he's falling, so I have to make them a little bit more even, okay? There we go. All right, so I've got the sheep there with all four of his legs, okay? All right, and then we're gonna use some glue to glue on his face. All right, so we're gonna put on some glue onto the ball. Oops, let's see if I can get this. Squeeze. Oh, this glue isn't the best here. It's not squeezing out too well. Elmer's glue is gonna be better than a glue stick for this because it's gonna help it stick a little bit nicer. All right, so there's that sheep's face. And now I'm gonna give him two little tiny, tiny dots for his little tiny, tiny eyeballs. All right, so in your bag, you'll see some eyeballs. So here's one eyeball, tiny, tiny, tiny eyeballs. That's a really good fine motor activity to get these tiny baby eyeballs on. All right, so stick on his eyeballs. There we go, see? All right, and then we're going to use these cotton balls to stick on his wool. So in our song, it says, Baba Black Sheep, have you any wool? Okay, so the wool is what goes all over his body. And we use wool to make shirts, sweaters, socks, different types of clothing, blankets. Wool is very warm. Okay, so we're gonna take this cotton ball and make pretend that it's his wool. Okay, so you're gonna pull little pieces of the cotton ball and glue on the glue and then stick on his wool, which is a cotton ball. But you're gonna do it all around the ball. Okay, I'm just gonna do a few to get you started here so you can see, see how I'm pulling the, the cotton ball pieces to make them a little smaller. Squeezing some glue and then sticking on the cotton ball. And you're gonna make it go all around his body, okay? All over, because you'll have plenty of cotton balls if you keep on pulling little pieces off. All right, so that's my afternoon, or my, yeah, my PM class, the afternoon friends. Um, my golly, I did tell you we have a lot of things. My AM friends are also gonna be making a sheep with cotton balls, but that's pretty self-explanatory, and we'll do that in class, where you do the same thing, where you pull, 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 but instead of putting it on that circle or the ball, you're just gonna put it onto the black piece of paper, okay? And you can glue the little poem on the back, all right? So that, that's, like I said, pretty self-explanatory. You can kind of get an idea how to do that. All right, another activity here is, this is for my PM class, scrambled sentences. I want you to look at this, this picture and I want you to color him in black, okay? You're gonna use, maybe I'll just I'll do a little bit here. So I'm gonna color him black. And then we're gonna make a sentence to talk about the color of the sheep. And so we're gonna put all of these words in order to make it say the sheep is black, but we have to find the right words. This is a tough one. And this is something your family's probably gonna have to help you with, but we wanna find it so that it says the sheep is black. And maybe the family members might be able to write in the words so that way you can just match. That's probably a better bet. The sheep is black. 
okay? And then we get a period at the end. So your job then is to cut out those words or have a family member help you and then match. Match the words and glue them down to make a sentence, okay? And if you want to try to write it, you can do that too. All right. And then I think that's it. Let's see what else we have. Oh, maybe one more thing. Oh, one more thing. Okay, so at home, I sent some cotton balls and I think some of you at home might have some tweezers. And what you're going to do is pull apart. Actually, you know what? Where's my other cotton ball bag? Oh no, I don't know where it is. So I'll just do this one. I think you already have pre-pulled apart cotton balls. I'm just gonna quickly pull a few apart because I think I forgot my cotton ball bag. So I'm just gonna pull a couple pieces apart so that way we can make them, make more of them, okay? And then your family member is gonna challenge you. They're gonna put a number onto the piece of paper, whatever number you happen to be working on, okay? And this here is the number 10, okay? So your job now is to get 10 cotton balls and put them inside of a little cup. One, it could be a smaller cup than this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, whoops, I'm gonna need some more, nine, and 10. And there we have it. In my cup, I have 10 cotton balls. And they look like this sheep's wool, don't they? And they're soft and fluffy. So you can have your family member write more numbers to challenge you, and you can put them inside of little cups. All right, and I think that's it for the day. Have fun with our Baba Black Sheep, one of my favorite nursery rhymes. Talk to you soon.